This is Die Sporting Network. What, what? Welcome you here to CCBC Tundra <laughs> here in South East Baltimore County. The DMV High School Football Showcase brings you Mount Kelmo, a record of three and two on the year. Archbishop Curley, a record of three and two on the year. Both teams, two and one, the MIAB Conference play. The winner will share second place with Concordia Prep. Mount Kelmo on the toss, they deferred. We we'll see Archbishop Curley on the field here for the first time in this one. This early in this contest, the weather's nice. Late night, the evening Saturday night game here in CCBC Dundalk here, Mount Kelmo's home. Here for football this season as a home team. First and 10. And the ball at the 32 yard line. High snap, run up the middle. Pushing the pile. It's gonna be a game of about four, it looks like. Might be maybe five. It's gonna be second and about four and a half. It looks like. St. Paul's last week went down to Curly. Curly had a good time in that one. That's a run up the middle. And push the pile back. Let's see where they set it at. It's going to be no gain. It's going to be third down. Third and six. Third down and six coming up here for the Friars. The winner of this game, again, will share second place with Concordia Prep. St. Mary's is one. St. Mary's beat Mount Kelmo here last week. Here at home. St. Mary's see y'all special curly next week. You'll see it on the game of the week next week here on DSM. Well, matchup. Right up the middle. It's going to be short of the first down, though, maybe about two yards. So it's decision time for the coaching staff of Curly. See what they're going to do on fourth down. It's going to be fourth and two. Well, Curly's going to go for it here early in the game. They're rolling the dice early. Fourth and two, let's see if they can get somebody to jump here on the Cougar side of things. Fourth and Divine went in, and they did! They got him to jump. So, the whole offensive line kind of got down in a stance. It made one of the defensive linemen of the Cougars to jump, and it's first down yard, it's near midfield here for the Friars. Two players is in motion there. A run to the outside, place loose! And a no huddle quickly. The chain game. They gotta wait for the chain game to get up the field here. What an explosive run there by Cole Madison. Run again up the middle. Splits through near the five yard line. It was near the 10, it was at the 14. So gotta get to the four yard line to be first and goal for the Friars as they try to strike first in this B conference matchup. Second, and about five. Run, they got the quarterback down. 
And he's sacked. And it's going to be behind the line of scrimmage. So it's third down and about seven to go. It's a false start. And that's going to move Curly back. And that's not good news there for the Friars in the sense of when you're on schedule, it helps. When you're not on schedule, it helps. Come on, Curly. Come on, Curly. 8.30 here in the first quarter. Timeout. Lolly Balls, Bishop Curley, that's their first timeout. And uh what you do that, we thank you so much. Check us out here on the Die Swing Network. You can always check us out on the Twitter at Die Swing Network and let you know when these games come out. And also email us on cb 22 gmailcom and Cash App us. We do appreciate every cash app and money sign Die Swing Network. Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube as we almost at 2070. Plus, subscribers strong. We thank you so much for it. The best was actually in the Dean period. A little light slate next week. I'm going to take a little pause. Because the only thing we'll be bringing to you next week is the game of the week. I might bring you a project as well to fill in the gap. In the following week, we'll be in Arundel. See St. Francis against Arundel coming up. We'll be the game of the week. We're going to the St. Francis Fall League finale. Roll out. <laughs> Runs. He's got room. Got Let's see if he got a touchdown. He got a first down, definitely. It's going to be first and go. First and go, definitely. This is Mount Camel's first year in the B Conference. Right here off of uh, Silas Point Road. You can see the other side there of Dundalk. Very great to see. First and goal for the Friars trying to punch it, punch it in. Again, another flag. Again, look like another false start. No. No. It's encroachment. It's the other way around. It's offsides. Huh? Were you that close? And Trostman really don't hurt as much. It just repeats the down and it moves the ball a little bit towards the goal. <laughs> Pushing the pile. It looks like the second effort. Gets the score. Touchdown. Ball's Bishop Curley, and they're going for the extra point. Watching the field goal kicker uh, in practice here, boy, he was bombing them. He was trying to hit him from 50. He was getting close. Good job, we'll see a kicking game in this one tonight, like we have in the past. Hey, 
Extra point attempt. Kick is up, right down Broadway. No, they said no good. Oh, wow. Well, he made it. Looked like it was in the middle, but and it went south. So six nothing game here so far. Here for Archbishop Curley. Let's see what Mount Camel does on their first drive here. Of course, they have one more home game here against John Kell. That should be a fun matchup indeed. Straight kick off, long back, right at the goal line. Got some room, splits away from the 20. Going down near the 30 yard line, a decent return back for the Cougars in their first time on offense here in this one. Come on, Luke! Let's go, Luke! So the ball at the 30, and he gets it to the 40 yard line. You see Mount Campbell for the first time. Here on the dice right now, we're going to football in. Go on offense here. Time for the ball. Run. And we got buried there. Uh, maybe gain a yard if he was lucky. Maybe a yard. So now they say he lost a yard. Second and 11. So a three wide receiver set looks like here for. The Cougars and the Blue. Bomb! Too far. Incomplete. Looking to get it down the field. I think Concordia Prep last year, the defending C Conference champion, so they made the move up to the B Conference. They've done well so far. 2 1. I'm wanting to be. That's a non conference loss as well. Let's Prize only two defeats. Concordia Pratt and Gilman. They beat Lloyd Blakefield, I believe. Third down. Throws it. Caught, but it's not going to be enough for a first down. Question is, let's see what the. Uh, now, Camelot ain't going to punt the ball. It's going to be fourth and about four, and they're going to punt the ball away. Be smart, don't jump! Watch the ball! 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 Watch do somebody have 12 men on the field? Like, I think Curly did. What a time I called beforehand. Flag came down. It is. Archbishop Curly uh, had a man extra down, and it gives Mount Kimmel a first down. So first and ten for the Cougars. Both teams getting the first down on penalties in their first drives here so far. Run up the middle, pushing the pile, maybe gain a yard there. The second and nine. Low snap, fakes it, throws it high, incomplete. Incomplete pass there. 
question. Quarterback Let's James go, Malone. Those have looked well, but accuracy wise, they haven't been able to get in the neighborhood. They've been overthrown. It's third down and eight. With 5.20, six remaining here in the first. Right. They went to run up the middle. First down, Yardage inside of Fry's territory for Mount Camel. The chains will move some more. The ball at the 42 yard line of the Friars. Snap, shotgun, and complete overthrow him. It's going to be second and 10. Second down and ten. Run! Run, splits, spins out of it, a nice gain, a gain of seven. All right, it's going to be third and five here. Going to throw, Malone, low and complete. Had a little action there. And the punt unit comes out for the Cougars. They can kind of pin the Friars deep here with 428 left in the first quarter. A six nothing lead here for Hawks Bishop Taylor. Offense there. That's going to move things back. It might have been Mount Kelman's plan though. Get a little bit more space. Make sure the ball don't go into the back of the end zone. So it's fourth and ten. High yard penalty there. Seaver at the 15. High snap, straight kick, and that's exactly what it does, goes into the back of the end zone. So Archbishop Curley will get the ball at the 20-yard line. And they will set up the shot. We can check out the stuff we have for you this weekend on DSN, including the game of the week matchup between Polly and Dunbar, and the football end, the 695. Finish business showcase at St. Francis and the final week, week six of the uh, Curly Fall Week. First and ten, it's Curly's second drive of the game. Low snap, went with the run. I think Madison might not got back to the line. I lost to y'all. He did lose maybe a half a yard. It's going to be second and 11. Four minutes exactly left here in the first. Stop that in the backfield. 
We end around. It's going to be third and long now. It's going to be third and about 16. Get the meter out. Three twenty-five remaining here in the first quarter. Little snap. Madison! He got back to the original line of scrimmage. Where the first down originally started, but that's about it there. Front unit coming out. Front team coming out here for Curly. All right, whistles, whistles. Let's see what we got. Lights out. Very nice football field. It was on it earlier for CCBC Dundalk. Very impressive here. Unless they call a timeout. That might be a play. But oh, they resume play. Interesting. Nice punt. Right near the 42. There's some lanes to run. Bouncer's out. They drug him down, but a nice return inside of prime territory. Near the 35 yard line for Mount Kilmer to work with here. And the Krugers would love to see how this goes for them. So we had a flag down. It's going to be a hold against the receiving team. It's going to move that back. So the knife field position negated. And it's going to put Mount Carmel back in their own territory near the 30 yard line. The line's going to be stopped right at the 35. Their own 35. So they went from being inside at the 35 up off Bishop Curley, now being on there side of the 35 again. <laughs> Some 17 left in the first. Six nothing lead here for off Bishop Curley. In the white uniforms this evening. Let's see the next week in homecoming. Snap. Run. And again, another couple there. That was Jermaine Downing Jr. That's your me. Dwayne Downing the second. With that run. It's a nice game there. Let's see what they've tried to that. Uh, Give them about four yards so second and six. Less than two minutes remaining here in the first quarter. Again, a beautiful night for high school football. In motion. Throw! Caught in the middle of the field. First down. Nambit fail. Francis Kozar Jr., the junior wide receiver, with that one. And in the middle of the field, a nice catch there. 90 seconds and counting here left in the first quarter. Four wide receivers set, three bunch to the right. That's a run up the middle. It's a gain of about two. One minute left here in the quarter. Oh man, incomplete. Third down, he took a chance there. Only third and eight. Defense! 
Third and eight. 47 seconds left here in the quarter. Whoever to run. Punch to the outside. That's a first down. And more. Still on his feet. And right near the 34 yard line. So another first down here for uh, Mount Kelmo. They get the ball back to where the kickoff return and went before the hold. Well, it was because of the hold, it was bummed back. So Mount Kelmo marching along here as the first quarter comes to a close. They might have, this will probably be the last play of the quarter here. I'm going to be wise about it, no doubt. Run up the middle. Still on his feet. And got the first down. Throw to it. There was Downing in the second. That's going to end the first. That is it for the first. They're not going to get this off in time, I don't think. The clock is stopped at seven seconds. They might. They might. Five, four, three, two. That's the quarter. After one, Curley with their first offensive possession scored a touchdown. Curley with their second head trying to make some noise themselves. A 6 0 lead here in CCBC Dundalk. We're on the showcase game here on DSN. We're back in the second quarter. All right, folks, second quarter about to get on the way here to Mars Die here with you in the DMV High School Football Showcase game here. And also, Mr. Curley, 3 and 2, Mount Kilmer, 3 and 2. A huge visit here. Run to the outside. And the lane speeds through and near the 10 yard line. It's going to be first down. Got it. Right around the edge there, and was able to get some action going. First down at the 14. Nice snap there, going for the run again this time. Curly was ready for it. And Hebron was taken down. Second down. And nine. We'll go through the scores. Uh, Mount St. Joe's taking care of business in the A conference today against McDonough. There's a huge one there in the MIA conference. We'll go through all the scores in a moment for you. Two can't go downfield. Two can't go downfield. Two cannot go downfield. That's the right. illegal release. Ah, uh, might be the gain. Let's see what that is. This gain of maybe. Let's see where they place the ball at. It's gonna be third down and about maybe seven. No, they say gain nothing. So it's gonna be third and nine. Two more. Got a little forward push there a bit. Right. <laughs> Throws it! Incomplete! So, decision time here for Mount Camel. I think they're going to go for it. Fourth down. It went with the run. Wow. It went with a straight run and didn't get it. Cut on one down. And Bishop Curley gets it back. Yeah. <laughs> 
So, Curly gets the ball back, deep in their own territory. Good job, D! Run. Not much of doing. Second down, anybody? <laughs> Real tight window. Rumbles up the middle, maybe a gain of one. Nine twenty-six remaining here in the first half. In the game again, the winner will be tied with Concordia Prep for the second spot. In the B Conference for Curly, it will be Hughes if they win. They see St. Mary's here at home next week. Oh boy, we got all sides, I think. If so, it's gonna be third and two. things a little easier here for the Friars. Pitch to the outside. At first it was a nice fake. Move the pile enough. Yeah. Like he got it. I got that. Did he? Yeah he got it. That's what I thought. Looked like he got it. Run up the middle. Might be a game or two. game again and no game. Rollouts, throws it short, 
Caught. Good job, Good job. 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 Decided to make them do it again. Let's go, Curly! 6.42 remaining here in the first half. Fast moving second quarter. Fast moving game as well. Maybe a yard on that run. Second in about one. Stop it, yeah.
So, the many stoppage there. Right? It's a first down. We're going to resume play. Pitch to the outside. Oh, that's definitely a face mask there. I seen it up here. That's gonna go against Mount Kilmore, I believe. Had that first initial push, second one rejected it back, maybe a gain of two. Second and eight, low snap, run to the outside. Still splitting around, maybe gain about maybe three. This time takes the run. He'll rumble and stumble. He might have got the first. Yep, thought so. Got the first down. First and go. At the 10. Fifty-five remaining here in the first half. Tight window again. Roll out to the outside. A little trickery. Open touchdown, Curry. Oh, this is I see the question: Do they go for two? Do they go for one? Are they going to go for one? Caught, Kurt, caught Mount Kelmo skimming with the play action pass. And formation looked like it wasn't going to pass. Good play calling there. Okay, that is down Broadway. That's good. So with 2.43 remaining in the first half, your score is 13 to nothing. 13 for Officer Curley. Mount Kelmo with nothing still. First touchdown on going from Mike to left. Into 
some big matchups next week. Chesapeake and Arundel. And Arundel County, a huge game. Then since Chesapeake, they win. They can pick it in somehow in that Arundel County case. Also, the old rivalry between Old Mill and Broadnet. They did it a year ago. This could be an interesting game as well. That's a kickoff. High. Back. In the end zone. Touchback. First and ten here for Mount Campbell. They got a man on some offense here. And some early and complete. Not there. Clock stops at 2.40. Maybe here in the first half. on first down, that's what they did there. Second and 10 here, with Curley at the 45. Close to midfield. Run up the middle. Nice game, nice run. That's a gain of eight, perhaps. And second down. Would you like to see? Third and about three. First down for Curly. Fully inside now of uh, Mount Campbell territory. 145 left. I believe Curly still has their timeouts remaining. They need to use them. 
Close it and complete. Five left. Third and five. At the 38 yard line of Mount Camel here for Officer Curley. Fakes it. Steps back to throw. Deep. A lot of grabbing there. A lot of grabbing. Let me fall down. Mike Carroll is going to go for it. Stop from Mount Campbell. They need it. Yeah. Oh man, he moved up. I might have gotten the. Oh, is it a false start? Nope. It's offsides. That might give Charlie the first down. I think it will. You gotta put him on the marker. First down. Coming back, a flag came down late. So that huge run will be negated. And that's a win for Mount Calmo big time. That was gonna be first and go. to the 23. Throws it deep! Trouble right now for Mount Carmel. They're about to be down three score. All right, we got whistles. That might be against. It is a false start against Curly. <laughs> Curly. 
It's gonna make this extra point a little more longer. Now Mount Kimmel do get the ball back first in the second half. No. There you go. Kick is good. Twenty to nothing now. So, if you're Mount Camel here, you got 36 seconds left, you got two timeouts. And what you want in that big play, though, but that turnover was huge. Kick off. Might as well let it go in the end zone. And it does. Exactly what happens. Out at the 20, 36 seconds left in the half. Six seconds, two timeouts left for Mount Kimmel. We got whistles. <laughs> Timeout by. Curly looks like. I do believe. Supervising there by the freshman quarterback here. 28 seconds here left in the half. Well, we had a late flag. Move things back again. Camel might have got it back. That ends the half. That's it. That's the end of the first half. That's the end of the first half. It's a 20. Nothing lead here right now for Officer yeah. Curley. Yeah. Right, we got here. Mount Campbell will get the ball first and second half. They can be able to 
recover and see what they need to do. Second half coming back here from CCCB Dundalk here in East Southeastern Baltimore County. And the DMV High School Football Showcase game continues. All right, folks, second half about to get underway here. CCBC Dundalk and the Heat Series coming out of that time here for Mount Camel. They need to get on the scoreboard at down 20. That's for the Cougars, it's big time. They get on the board. to the 20 for the Cougars. Line of running for Archbishop Curley. They control the line of scrimmage there. Again, a huge series here. Second push, might have gotten back to the line of scrimmage. French officer Curley always come out in full force. Our camel folks are out here too. Second down, throws it. Should have been picked off and complete. Third and eight. be against it is a false start against Mount Kilmer, so I thought it was. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> 
Close it! And complete. Punt unit out here from Mount Carmel, not the result they needed to start the second half. Third and one. That's what it is. Third and one. to the outside. He might not have gotten the marker. It's a nice tackle. It's fourth down. It's definitely Curly's going to go for it. No question about it. Fourth and one. You're in a light schedule for us here on DSN next week. The game of the week will come at you from Archbishop Curly. St. Mary's and Archbishop Curley next week. It stands right now, the winner. St. Mary's went in full position for the top spot. A draw run, that's a first down and more! He's got room! Down! Down, down, inside the five! How huge was that run? Mount Campbell needed offensively to start off quick. They wasn't able to. They had to go three and out. And the ball at the six is first and goal. Mount Bishop Curley trying to punch it in for a fourth time in this one. Oh, ball came out. Quarterback jumped on it. Logan Nordic, the junior. So it's going to be second and goal, look like at. Lost a couple yards. I think it's going to be around the nine yard line now. Yep, around the nine. Let's 
Timeout. Not sure who called it. Might have been Curly that did call it if it was so. 20 nothing lead here. Office is Curly in this one and he's saying cool. Amazing as it seems. Curly. one try they had was because of uh, the turnover. Uh, Curly had that is. No, that's Wait a minute. Okay, that's John Kelly, other home game. Coming up here for Archbishop. Mount Campbell's going to be here. Second and goal. They went with the rollout. Throws it. Bill Ansel. Touchdown. Extra point attempt. That, that should be against Mount Kelmo, I believe. It is. The kick was no good, and we're going to redo it. Two instead, push it to Powell, and got the two point conversion. 28 enough. Kick off high, right at the one. Trying to cut the edge. And they got him down right at the 20. They play it here locally in the area. I'm an Eccles area Christian. Beating St. John Captain Batman in the Sea Conference, 13 to 7. Lake Clifton. Frederick Douglass of Baltimore in the city, 20 to 6. We said earlier, Mount St. Joe's beat McDonough, 23 to 7. No beast to beat Delaney up at Delaney today, 23 to 20. We're now back this one of the opponents that Curly will see coming up. Shuts out Virginia Academy, 48 to 9. City beats Digital Harbor as well. Last night, Green Street defeated Savannah Park 20 to 18. Got another timeout, I believe, on Mr. Kelly. Excuse me. I'm Mount Kelmore. Mount Kelmore at the time. 741 remaining in the third. 28 to nothing just four. Mount Kelmore's offense. I get in sync so. Oh 
We're back to game action now.
We got flags everywhere there. We got a false start against the offense. Second, well, we got a false start against the offense here. Second and long. Oh, Mr. Kelly in control of this one by 20. Touchdown run. I might have sailed the deal for fry, the fries in this one. Set the showdown against St. Mary's. Kick is up. Right down Broadway. Hit the running clock. <laughs> Continue to run here. 
You're in a running clock. No, 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 no. Mount Camel, we figured that penalty was against Curly when it was thrown. And no sorry, roughness probably in all likelihood, that's what it was. And, uh, 140, one remaining, the clock has been stopped with a timeout. So the ball we placed inside of fried territory here for Mount Camel. All right, back to game action here. Fight where we soon want the ball is snap. That's a run. Nice run there. Gained about four. Run! And again, not much going there. Forty-eight seconds left right there in the Run, cut, got the first down up the middle. That's going to end the corner in all likelihood. As we switch sides, going to the fourth. After three here off Bishop Curley. Whoop. Mount Camel here, they formed up. I don't think they'll get the playoff in time. Nope, they won't. After three, 35 nothing lead here for the Friars here on the road. And looking good here in southeastern Baltimore County. We'll be back for the fourth quarter. The DMV High School Football Showcase game coming up. Fourth quarter here underway. I'm on side here with you. Lost Bishop Curley. Up by 35. Broke the first tackle. And that's going to break the couple here. And again, something extra after the play is done. Again, both sides of flag late again. That's going to be against Curley again. Got to keep them. Is in check. So both sides. One side's up 35. One side's down 35. You gotta check. The quarter is underway. Come on, Curly! 
against our fish, excuse me, against Mount Carmel here and it's gonna move them back up quite a ways. It's gonna move them near midfield. That's the last thing they need right now because they need to get the ball to the 23 yard line. Wild fish of Carroll. Oh, that ball got moved way back. Again, you gotta be able to keep your emotions in check. You are Mount Kelvin. You gotta pretty much air this ball out and get it back. There. By the way, what do you think all right. Now what do we got? <laughs> now you got a five yard penalty against Curly now. Made it all sides, moved it. Second down here. High snap, yeah. throws it high, should have been picked off, but incomplete. Run to the outside. Not going to get much. Look down, got to air it out. We're going to punt the ball away. Too much to get. Right. Got a chance. High snap. Kick was not a good one, but it didn't roll as bad as it could have been. Look like it's at 27 yards? 27 yards. That's where Archbishop Curley will set up play. <laughs> Six fifty-seven remaining here in regulation time. It has been all on Bishop Curley in the second half. Al Campbell there, they sandwiched that one play and it's in the backfield and loss of yards.
second and long. Second and 13. That's the second and 14, excuse me, looks like. All right. Look in here. Run to the outside. Right the edge. Out of bounds. Oh, third and eight. Clock will continue to run. 5:44 left in this one. Bench, get on back. So the showdown next week between St. Mary's and Archbishop Curley. A huge one. Of course, you'll probably be rooting for Archbishop Curley in that one. They beat Curley, but they lost to St. Mary's. And then Curley can beat St. Mary's via a three-way tie. Oh, ball snapped high. Just couldn't able to fall on it. It looked like Mount Carmel will get it back. They will. Four forty-five and counting. First turn of the game for Archbishop Curley, but with a thirty-five point lead, it's in for natural at this point. Turn over that Mount Carmel hat was huge. They was trying to get some momentum offense, and that really took what momentum they were trying to get away. They say one turnover each, but timing the turnovers is huge. So the ball is at the 15. Mount Camel trying to get on the on the scoreboard here, right up the middle. It's going to be a gain of about five. Flatley is continuing to run. Four minutes left in this. Olympic Showcase game be back in November. So we have the biggest showcase game final of the year between Aus Archbishop uh, Run up the middle. Trying to score it. He's going to be short of the goal line. Going to be at the one. First and goal at the one. All right, I see a straight run coming. High snap, straight run, touchdown, Mount Camel. Better get the Krugers on the board, that'll stop the running clock at 3.09. Left here in the fourth. High snap. They went for the two point conversion and got nailed in the backfield. Camel will kick the ball to Curly. And that was an onside kick. And 
Curly will get it back. Looking, run to the outside, and they drug him down behind the line. Three minutes left in this one. He said the running clock is stopped, but we got enough time left in this one. It's not going to be much happening and again. Bishop Kelly will go to four and two on the year. High right, snap. Run around the edge. Out of bounds. Got to want the clock continuing to run. What we got here? Third down? Yep, third and about 17. We got flags everywhere. Let's see what we got. I have a false start. That's a little like I think we have. How about Dundalk last night? Speaking of that, we're not far away from Dundalk High School. Big win against Franklin. Winning that one seven to nothing. Family against Mount Camel, it looks like. Not huge as that one. That was the uh, Baltimore Ravens rise game of the week. High snap, able to get it. Quarterback run. Was able to get away once, not able to get away twice. And it's going to be fourth down, punt unit coming out here for Archbishop Curry. All right, 148 remaining. Clock is continuing to run here. Low snap, a spiral. Flag late. It's going to be against Mount Kimmel.
So, <laughs> the flag is flying a lot here in the second half. Coming down the stretch now. Run up the middle. Seconds left. <laughs> High snap. Oh, ball fumbled. Still down. It looked like Mount Campbell might have jumped back on it. Run up the middle. That might do it. And that will do it. That's your final there. 35 to 6. Up to Centrilla goes for 4 and 2. And Mount Gilmer goes for 3 and 3. And Curly and St. Mary's next week. Ready game of the week here on DSN for the, for the top spot. In the MIAB conference. St. Mary's, they will have clinched the top spot in the sense of teams they need to play if they win. Curly will bring things into it. It'll be a three way tie between them, Archbishop, Archbishop Curly, and for your Pratt in St. Mary's. But they will. We had that for you. Coming up. Always great to be a part of things with Mount Carmel. We thank uh, the Dean Alex Moreski so much. And, Hospitality here. Hopefully, we'll be back. Not this season, next season, definitely. Mount Carmel game. Cougars, young program. Don't want the B Conference so far after winning the C Conference title a year ago. They got some stuff we know they're going to work on, but no doubt. The program on the rise in Middle River with Mount Carmel. in the Saints in the DMV High School Football Game of the Week. So long for now. This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what?